So in the next episodes, we will unpack the first things that Jesus says and, uh, and to learn and to lean into His way and His will, understanding, trusting that what Jesus says is true and that what Jesus says He actually wants us to listen to and to apply. You know, Jesus didn't come onto the scene to give us all this amazing life-giving teaching and then to say, hey, I'm your Savior you can ignore it all. Like, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The creator of all the universe has come and he has a plan. And part of that plan is for us to actually abide by what he teaches. Okay, the word that he gives us is the word of life. If we don't believe that, we are yet not followers of Jesus. This is the crux of the matter. If you call yourself a follower of Jesus, you must want to abide by the teachings of Jesus. So let's journey together, step by step, command by command, teaching by teaching, just loving our Savior by saying to Jesus, I am all ears. I am wide-eyed, ready to receive what you have, because I know that you have the words of life. I believe that inside and out. I believe that. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. When people apply your teachings, there is a difference. There is a difference in the soul. There's a difference in family. There's a difference in community. There's a difference in the workplace. There's a difference within the neighborhood. There is a difference in this world. We must be able to see this. To live a life of sin, to live a life of selfishness is contrary to the way of Jesus. If we do not see this, we do not yet see the kingdom and we actually do not see Jesus. We have been duped. We've duped ourselves, someone else has duped us, whatever it is, but Jesus clearly says, if you love me, you will obey my commands and understand this that as you obey my commands, you will find that these are the keys to life.